Canada thistle is a serious weed in organic crop production. Research and farmer experience has shown that fall tillage contributes to the control of Canada thistle. However, fall tillage is at odds with the practice of growing a late season cover crop since it will kill the cover crop. Therefore, we are in a dilemma. Should we till the thistle or seed a cover crop? The wide blade cultivator is a tool that has been used for over 100 years first in Europe and later during the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. The Noble Blade, developed by Charles Noble of Nobleford, Alberta, designed many different types of these implements. The wide blade cuts weeds off below the surface but leaves crop residue on the surface for soil protection and erosion control. Our question is, can the wide blade cultivator be used to kill cut Canada thistle plants while not killing the cover crop? This question was addressed in the fall of 2023 at the Glen Lee Organic Agriculture Learning Centre. Barley and oat pea intercrops were planted in mid-August. The wide blade cultivator was used at various stages of barley development. This image, which was taken three weeks after wide blade use, shows where the wide blade was used on barley in the four leaf stage. You can see on the left where the wide blade cultivator was used and on the right, where the check strip serves as an untreated control. This image shows a Canada thistle plant 10 days after wide blade use. Clearly, the wide blade killed the thistle, but appears to have left the barley mostly alive. So, does this mean we may have an implement which allows selective Canada thistle control in a cover crop? It appears yes. Watch the following video for more information. Uh, hello, uh, I am Sasha Lowen. I am a postdoc fellow in the Natural Systems Agriculture Lab at the University of Manitoba. Uh, today we are at the uh, Glenlee Long-Term Organic uh, Research Station, um, just south of the University of Manitoba. And we are going to be looking at the use of the Noble Blade, uh, a, a wide blade cultivation tool in uh, fall cover crops uh, for uh, weed control. Um, okay, so we're standing here beside the Noble Blade. Uh, you can see it's about a six foot wide blade that we're looking at. Uh, very simple tool. Uh, it's weighted down so that it travels underneath the soil. And uh, the um, key utility of this device is that it's able to go underneath the soil and leave the top layer of the soil undisturbed and the plant matter uh, on top of the soil to protect the soil health uh, of that area. Um, so we are going to try this out on a fall seeded oat and pea cover crop and uh, explore its utility to um, handle or, or deal with weeds uh, in that system, particularly looking at uh, Canadian thistle uh, where the noble blade is able to travel underneath the soil surface and uh, cut off the roots of the Canadian thistle and uh, actually potentially leave the cover crop in place while um, killing or setting back the Canadian thistle. Okay, uh, so we're standing in a cover crop that was seeded approximately six weeks ago. Uh, fall seeded oat cover crop with some peas and a little bit of vetch in it. Uh, and you can see uh, that the noble blade did have an effect on the cover crop the, uh, the cover crop is turning a bit brown where it's been damaged. Uh, if you compare it to the check strip just, uh, just south here where the um, oats are growing very vibrantly in dark green, uh, you can see the effect of the noble blade on the cover crop in that space. The main reason we tried the noble blade here is to uh, find a new mechanism uh, to control Canadian thistle and so there are numerous spots throughout the field where we have <clears throat> thistles that were growing and have been cut off at the root and have dried out since then since uh, the noble blade effectively uh, killed them. It did not kill, <clears throat> completely kill them. There are areas where the uh, Canadian thistle started regrowing from the remains, but here you can see there was actually a very effective kill on this particular patch. Uh, okay, so we've just run the Noble Blade, uh, done several passes across this cover crop. Uh, it had already been um, cultivated once with the Noble Blade uh, three weeks ago, and we wanted to see how that action would um, look like if we ran it again. And you can see um, the blade has left uh, the um, plant material on the surface, 
you can see it's cut it off again, so the roots are severed here. Uh, we will, it'll be interesting to see whether the cover crop uh, continues to survive any longer or if it um, will be terminated by this action. Um, and um, you can see there's more um, action in the tire tracks where the uh, tractor um, drove across it, so that's probably going to do more damage there. Uh, there's also some um, damage through the center where the, um, the uh, shank holding the blade up uh, traveled through the cover crop and brought up some soil. But overall, the cover crop stays on the surface after having the blade run through it. And uh, again, you can see there's lots of plant material uh, on the surface, um, hopefully thereby protecting the soil for the winter.